This is a million dollars. And this is what people think they need to become financially free. But you know what's gonna keep that from happening? Four myths and fallacies that limit true financial liberation. Today, I'm gonna to cover all of those with you and we're gonna get them out of the way so you can have the money. One, one shot, now the future be sure is Let's start with the first myth, the retirement myth which is basically, hey, I'm gonna go work for 30, 40 years after I got my degree, and you know what? It's all gonna turn out, I know, because mom and dad said so, and there will be plenty of money for retirement. What do you mean broke? Like, like Martha Stewart broke? Or MC Hammer broke? MC Hammer broke! No! <laughs> Here's the actual truth. Average 401k balance at the age of 60 is $207,000. $200,000. Do you know what you can do with $200,000 at retirement? At that time in your life, you're gonna be living off of around $90,000 a year. So this is going to last. This is what you'll eat the first year retirement. This is what you'll eat the second year retirement. And then guess what you need to do? You gotta go back and get a job. But you know what, heck, why not? Let's just say that you only had $200,000, but you reduced your spending and you live to be 80 years old. That means that you're gonna live off of $10,000 every single year for the rest of your life. And then at 80, you better die because you're definitely out of money. Question. Do you remember the last time you lived off of $10,000 a year? That's like $800 a month. And then next we have to deal with the financial freedom myth. We have to have this conversation because there's a lot of people that watch us on social media and they, they see the Lamborghinis and the high life and the world travel and the girls and the nice houses and they see the money, they see the nice threads and they're thinking, oh, like that must be what I want. Worst that can happen is I can spill, spill some on my $3,000 suit. Come on. Oh, hey. yeah, yeah, the guy in the, the $4,000 suit is holding the elevator, but the guy doesn't make that in three months. Come on! And listen, financial freedom is 100% out there, but when you set your heart and your mind on it and you go after it as if it's the only thing that is your worthy pursuit, those people also have something missing because they think that the nicer car or the nicer house is going to feed their soul, that it's gonna be meaningful to them. Check out this study. Uh, a study published in the journal Nature Human Behavior found that once we reach a certain household income of $105,000 in the United States, that more income tended to be associated with reduced life satisfaction and a lower level of well-being. And I think part of that is because there's people out there that are just like, I gotta hustle harder, I gotta work harder, I'm gonna make more money and then I'll be more happy but a lot of those people are so busy and they're living these hustled 80 to 100 hour you know, work lives, work weeks, that the satisfaction isn't there. Do you know how many wealthy people I know that are unhappy? It is true that money doesn't buy happiness, which means that this has to become a natural byproduct and you also have to choose a more intelligent way of making money because if you're doing it as a career and you're giving your whole life, you can get caught up in a game and wake up in 20 years and still not have what you wanted. It is a myth if you're going about it the wrong way and it becomes something beautiful if you go about it a different way. For example, I've heard it's been said that money doesn't buy happiness, but that person simply hasn't given enough to charity. When you have a chance, for example, to set your money in the place where it really belongs, which is what is the good that we can do in the world? How, who are the people that I can help? How can I make a difference? Those are the people that tend to follow me. Those are the people I partner with in business and real estate. That, those are the people that I wanna build wealth with because they're not stuck in it for the financial freedom of the money. They're stuck in it for the freedom of living that higher life and helping other souls too. There is a third reason why you're not gonna get the million bones. Check it out. It's entitlement. And can I just tell you, it is alive and well today, bigger than ever before. We feel entitled to retirement, to comfort, to job security, to healthcare, to work benefits. It leads to this relinquishing of personal responsibility and perceiving that other people owe us our lifestyle. And so if you ever get caught up in the energy of like, that's not fair. First of all, you sound like a five-year-old. You sound like a toddler. I've had those children before. That's not fair, that's not fair. It's like, I got news for you. Maybe no one ever told you, life isn't fair. But the more time you spend complaining and whining about why me, why not, it's never gonna get you where you wanna go. Taking responsibility says, wait a second, this is my life. 
It's, it's for me to solve this. And you know what? I'm not going to point my fingers and blame anyone else. If anything, I'm going to point at myself and say, it's time for me to get off my ass and do what I know that I'm supposed to do. We wait for our ship to come rather than swimming out to meet it or just simply creating it. Me, give me the wood, give me the supplies. I'll go out, I'll harvest them myself. I'll go build me a boat and I'll make sure I get where I'm supposed to go. That's not entitlement. That's empowerment. But if you really want to be financially free, if you really want to live life on your terms, if you want flexibility, if you want the mobility, if you want to move at your pace, if you want to live that life that you feel inside that you're called to, there's a fourth fallacy that you're going to have to combat, and that is the fallacy of someday. Do you know how many people I know that are saving their pennies for someday? The problem is someday may never come. If you really want something, then sit down and create a comprehensive plan for achieving it, and then you got to take action on it. Like Tony Robbins says, execution is everything. So if you have a plan and you're not acting on it, that's you just like, well, I need more time and I don't know exactly and I need more information and I'm still building my perfect plan. It, the time for you to act was yesterday, if not years earlier. The lack of money, well, that's just a symptom of the lack of purpose in one's life. Money cannot fill that void. From November 2020 to November 2021, prices went up by 6.8%, the highest upswing in consumer price index since 1982. In other words, the economy ain't waiting for you, but I got news for you. Income is growing at this rate and the cost of living and housing is growing at this rate. Over time, everything is becoming more expensive. So the longer you wait before you get your act together is ultimately going to determine whether something like this becomes a reality for you or not. And if you want to make this a reality, I want to show you right now how I created this by 26 years old so that I was free because it's a system and it looks like this. Everything I've been sharing with you in today's video comes out of this book right here, The Straight Path to Real Estate Wealth. The reason why I wrote it is because people were curious, Chris, how did you become financially free at such a young age? And I said, well, you know what? I'm tired of answering the question. I'm gonna document it. And it doesn't read like a normal book. Instead, I just say step-by-step step, do these things. If you got no money, if you got no credit, if you got no prospects, if you got no opportunities, perfect. Because that describes me when I got started and today, as long as I've got copies available, if you click the link below, I'm gonna make this a gift from me to you. This book has been my life's work to help other people copycat exactly what I did to get where I'm at today. And if you wanna do the same, I will give you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to do it. Now, when you click the link, all you gotta do is cover the shipping of the book, but the book itself, all of it, this is a gift from me to you. Get the book, read the book, consume the book, and you know what, know someday. Take action on it right now. Click the link below, I'll see you there. I know what you're thinking, Chris. I'm working my job, I'm working towards retirement. My retirement's gonna be there. Really, if you really are serious about retiring, there's this little secret I wanna show you that will change everything. The good news is you're already doing most of it. There's just one little tweak you gotta make. And if you wanna know what it is, click right here.